I am only taken seriously by the military scientists. The academic scientists really don't know what to make of me. Well, to say a lot of other people too don't know what to make of me. I'm not just a different person, but I'm kind of happy with myself. I don't want to try and change myself. These are the results. Objects floating in the air. You'd think it's a breakthrough in the world of science. Yet to this date, the Hutchison effect has not been reproduced by anyone but John Hutchison. Adding to the mystery, the Canadian government confiscated his anti-gravity equipment in the late 1980s. The U.S. government has also become extremely interested in the Hutchison effect. In fact, one U.S. Army lieutenant colonel sent this man to investigate John Hutchison's phenomenon. We're talking about what I would categorize as light of the matter. And if it's that, then it won't become an anti-gravity machine in the future. But I believe it should be of interest to science. Engineer Jack Haup works for an aeronautical corporation. On his two-day visit 12 years ago, he videotapes cylinders falling and gun barrels crashing on cement. Haup believes that the Hutchison effect is real, and he knows why John Hutchison is the only one who can pull off the anti-gravity trick. My best judgment is that this correlates with uh, the types of things that happen with a mind effect, mind over matter psychosis. John Hutchison was skeptical of that theory at the time, but now believes his mind might be partly responsible. Perhaps this is a byproduct of working with these high energy fields for so long that uh, you interact with them and they seem to uh, act, actually act on the neurotransmitters in the brain. Hutchison still hopes to someday apply his anti-gravity discovery to space propulsion and free energy systems. Knowing those possibilities keep the Hutchison effect very much in demand and keeps him ready for the next time the government comes knocking. I think John is a, is a very uh, warm person who seems to have stumbled on some very interesting phenomena. One well-known physicist in Ontario is still trying to duplicate the Hutchison effect. So far, no luck. Now, look, artificial will fire to a cheap period. Real progress is being made in a laboratory. Here, the full significance of the physical laws of life.